Well, I think that uh, if IGF uh, would be discontinued, we would have to invent it again, because there is no other place where these multiple stakeholders can meet. We have government meetings, we have uh, these big, uh, big uh, industry meetings, we have uh, NGOs meeting about the internet. It's the same problem as we have in the parliament, because uh, they're part of these questions they fall into the uh, legal committee and part fall into the transportation and communication committee and part of it falls into the uh, finance committee. So in most countries you don't have a committee that we are able to access the whole. In Finland we have a committee for the future but that's another story that has taken that role quite by accident but quite happy to do that. Uh, but uh, we need this kind of place where we can discuss it from multiple points of view. And funny thing with uh, IGF, as we have discussed with quite a few friends here, has been that, that uh, IGF has evolved. For example, when you think about Athens, people were not talking about uh, crowdsourcing, they were not talking about cloud computing, they were not talking about social media. And when you look at the program now, it's only about these things. So uh, IGF uh, being quite informal and uh, unformulated is also flexible and agile enough to react to this. So uh, I, the thing I would avoid is to make it too, to define it too strongly because that would mean that it would lose this, its best uh, reason for existence.